t'aime Tu entends ma voix Tu te mens à toi-même Quand tu dis moi aussi Ces mains sur ta peau Te font plus rien Je suis dans ton cerveau Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's do this a little bit. Okay, welcome back to my channel. Um, basically, I was talking about the story time, and then I got interrupted, and then I was like, I have to do it again. So, um, this is a juicy Sunday. This is a juicy Sunday story time. So, it's about um. A day that I have during quarantine well COVID time let's say and it's been summertime so a couple a couple of months ago so yeah so um, I met this guy on like uh, a dating site I think it was hinge that I met him on and then we've been talking for like a couple of uh, I just got straight into the, the story right okay so before I continue so don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, I would really appreciate it um, it, it helped me a lot uh, knowing that you guys like what I'm giving you so just do that like, it's one click easy peasy i'm not getting paid for this i'm not getting nothing from this but it showed me like in in like other story time it showed me that oh i like this story about her oh i like this content about her so please do share comment and subscribe and like the, the video thank you very much let's continue so yeah i met him on hinge and then we talked a couple of weeks like I think we talk like a month a month to two months uh, before I met him and he was like oh can I meet you and I was like just like oh I'm busy I wasn't that busy but I was like I was just like so scared that it would be a like catfish or something so I keep pushing it and then one day my friend convinced me she was like yeah just go like how can you like date people if you don't go on dates so i was just like okay i'm gonna go so one day i think like i was finishing at nine or at eight and then he was like oh can we meet i was like well a couple of days before he was like can we meet i was like yes on that day we can meet and then he said um what time you finish work I'm like okay I've finished work at this time like, okay fine let's say nine so like that like you know I have that gap that I can like get ready and whatsoever and the place that we choose it's basically near my house and near my work so it was like an in-between place so I was just like yeah fine let's go let's do this I choose the place by the way because it, it's a nice place i ate there before uh i think with a friend or alone one of them i ate there before and then it was really good so i was just like oh let's go there you know and they serve like good jerk chicken and like their cocktail their cocktail is really good and they have like oyster the oyster are pretty good too so I was just like, yeah, let's just do this. I actually finished work at like 8, 8.30ish, 8.40ish, 45ish. And then I told them like, well, while I was getting out of work, I told them like, I'm going to be like 15 minutes away or like 10 minutes away. And he said, oh, okay, fine. I'm at some place. And apparently it's a bar. And I was just like, okay, fine. He was at the Milky Way for people that... No, I'm, I'm gonna be at the the place like in like five to ten minutes and he was like okay I'm gonna leave soon or oh, I'm with a friend and he he's uh, he's drinking and he's sad because he's he's talking about how he 
he can have a girl or like how he's alone or something like that and like I'm trying to comfort him and blah 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 I'm like oh that's nice of you and then he was like yes and I told him I already have my girl and blah blah and I'm like who and he's like oh you of course I'm like mm, this is our first date <laughs> oh, who's your girl oh, by the way the guy is Latino I think he's from Guatemala so I got to the place it was nine o'clock 9.15 max and I'm like okay I'm there and he's like um I didn't leave yet I'm like how long are you gonna be there he's like give me 15 minutes I'm like okay no problem so I went there and then the guy showed me the guy was nice he was a white tatted guy with long hair he was kind of cute not my type but kind of cute like he asked me actually do i want need a table inside or outside and it was like summertime there was no rain and stuff like that so i was like okay outside so he put me on a table outside 15 minutes pass the guy is not there and i'm like where are you and he's like oh i'm i'm getting out now and I'm just like, how long it's gonna be? He said it's gonna be 15 minutes. So mind you, I'm there on 9.15. 15 minutes pass, so it's 9.30. And he says it's gonna be there in 15 minutes, so 9.45. Okay, keep that in mind, okay guys? The waiter came, and then he was like, oh, would you like something? So I asked for a drink, which is like, it was bomb. My phone messaging one of my, well, my friend from work and then I was messaging like a group of friends also that I've been that I've known for a long time so I was just like yo um by the way guys I'm on a date with with this guy here's his picture here's where I am um I wasn't scared but I just I just wanted moral support and then I finished my first drink and then the guy came back and he was like do you want anything else so i order my food and uh i order another drink so 9 45 right uh, he sent me another like he sent me his location or something and then he was like oh this is where i am and it say on the location that he was Still 15 minutes away from where I was. He's like, uh, I'll be there in five minutes. It was almost 10 o'clock, okay, when he got there. He said, Oh, I'm here, okay. Um, yeah, you can just look for a girl with a long black dress. And he was like, Oh, I thought I had to look for a big booty. And I was just like, He had a kid, by the way, she was two years old. I, I don't mind I love kids so I was just like oh she's so cute whatever blah 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 he came late and then he gave that joke about looking for my booty and I was just like uh, I'm sitting down so I don't think you should look for a, a girl with a big booty but hey do you whatever he comes and then he was already lit he like pulled his chair next to me and he was like oh my god you're so beautiful and then he was touching my thighs and I was just like we just met bro but I don't know you like that so why are you touching me like that bro like mm, calm down he was rubbing my thighs and whatever luckily for me the the waiter came and then he was like oh uh, your friend is there do you, would you like something else and I was just like yes uh, no he said yes uh, can we have the wine um, pen flip wine card and then he was like and then after he asked for the card pen flip wine thingy um, he asked me do you want a drink and I was just like well before you came I already got two cocktails and he said cocktails oh that doesn't do anything actually it does and especially if you drink it really fast it tastes like juice my head was kind of like mm, yes. 
<laughs> if you know the feeling you can understand what I'm saying he tried to flex okay so he when the guy came back he was like give it give us the most expensive wine you have on the card and I was just like okay flex much but whatever and then he kept asking me weird questions and then uh, the wine came I drank like I think I drank like one glass and a half while we were drinking my food came I I did ask them to put it on a to-go plate when my food came he was just like oh you order food I'm like yeah well I ordered to go home I'm not gonna eat it now and he's like you're gonna eat in front of me and I was just like no I order it to go home I'm like, are you hungry? Because I can just open it and then we can eat and then whatever is left, I can bring it back home. He said, no, I'm not hungry, but uh, I can't believe you're going to eat in, fr in front of me. I'm like, I was not going to do that. He's like, oh, okay, 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 because I, I find it rude. So I put the food on the side and then so I was talking and talking. We were talking about like, well, he, he was talking a lot. I was just like whatever he was like oh I just got promoted that that's why I'm so happy he's like oh we should drink all all night we should go uh, at a bar we should go to the club and whatever and I was just like nah and then we were talking I don't know what we were saying why because of the next thing he did okay remember my food that I put on the side he opened up like the box and then he take I'm gonna call them fries because they look like fries okay he take one and I'm looking at him like literally at him like and then he's like oh this is good this is good and I'm just like yeah it's my food yeah it's good and then he's like this is really good it's something I usually do not eat and I was like why and he's like because it's a um, slave food and I was just like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, you know, like poor people, slave, they eat that. Are you saying I'm a slave? He's like, no, 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 I'm not saying you're a slave, but based on your of on your nationality, it's normal that you like that 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 vegetable. And I was just like, what? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's normal because you know the whole slave thing and stuff. And I'm just like what yuca okay it's yuca and yuca in french manioc so flag number 16 okay and he's saying that and he's taking another one so he finished my fries by the way finished my fries and he's like oh this is really good let me see the chicken i'm like no i think this one i'm gonna <laughs> keep it for me and he's like oh but i'm not hungry i'm not gonna eat it i'm like but you ate all my yuca fries i was really having a hand on my plate like this and <laughs> just in case he was trying to like sleepily go into my plate i was just like he wasn't looking i was messaging my friend i lied i said i was messaging my mom because she was wondering how i was but sorry mom i like i lie on your name but <sighs> this guy Anyway, so I was messaging my friend. I was like, yo, this is the worst date. Like, this is the worst, worst, worst date. Even before our guy, that, that one win. Okay, it was the worst, 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 worst date. What did I put myself into? I was just like fed up of the date, okay? There's one point the waiter came back. He was uh, he was just asking uh, if everything is okay. Would you, would do we like something else and blah, blah blah and I start flirting with the guy I'm like oh my god you have nice tattoos <laughs> like you have nice tattoos and then he's like oh thank you I'm like does they do they mean anything and in front of the guy huh? and then he's like and then I was like do they mean anything and then he was like well some of them yeah some of them no it was just mistake it was just trying I'm like oh wow what do you mean by trying and then he was like oh by the way I'm a tattoo artist also with my roommate and we do talk tattoo and blah blah and like oh yeah I'm like I'm trying to get an, another tattoo and he was like yeah you can like message us and whatever but I can't I think the guy on the 
understand the the atmosphere, the 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 situation I was in. So he was like, I don't mind, yeah, like whatever. And then I'm and he's like, oh, I can leave you my email. And I'm like, do you guys have like a phone number? And he's like, yeah, we do. Uh, like it's our personal phone number. And I'm like, yeah, just give me your personal phone number. <laughs> just give me your personal phone number and I'll I'll call you or message you or whatever I'm like actually give me both give me your email and your personal phone number and he was like yeah no problem and he's like well I don't have a paper ah, there's a napkin here <laughs> you can write it down on the napkin <laughs> write down his I don't have the paper anymore because I got home and I threw away everything but yeah he wrote it I was just trying to see if he could if my date could get mad and be like yo I'm leaving but this this didn't work at all and then he was just like oh so which part do you want to go I'm like I don't want to go to a bar he said but it's my promotion night I'm I'm celebrating. I'm like, oh, what about you call the guy you were in the Milky Way with and then you guys can turn up more. So he's calling his friend, okay? And then he's like, yo, yo, yo. I'm gonna say this part in French, guys, because I'm I don't think there's a translation in English for it. But then anyway, it was like yo 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 c'est quoi les move by the way this guy was five five to six years older than me and then he was like no 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 je suis proche de où 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 y a les dit, non non je suis proche où y a les things so juste envoie moi l'adresse oh uh, est-ce qu'elles vont toujours venir est-ce qu'elles vont toujours être là parce que j'essaie de comme turn up and I'm just like this is not happening not not in front of me this this guy is not trying to plan other things with strippers, holes, whatever they are in front of me. This is not happening. I'm dreaming, right? I was just like, this guy is for real. Like, in front of me, trying to plan with holes. In front of me. Okay, fine. He's like, just drink another bottle with me. And I'm like, no, I don't want to. He's like, come on, just drink. And then he's calling the guy. And then... While he was calling the guy, I'm like, guys, I'm messaging my girls. I'm like, can you call me now, please? And say, like, like your boyfriend hurt you and you want me to come help you. So they're like, yeah, no problem. So because we were in a group, they're like, yeah, no problem. I'm gonna call. So my friend called and then she's like, yo, Ray, um, my friend is there. I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? You know how we do okay girls finishing the call what happened i'm like yo my friend she's in la salle i think i said la salle or laval something like that and then i'm like she she's uh her boyfriend hurt her and she she's like freaking out right now and so i'm gonna go see her and like bring her back to my place he's like no you shouldn't go i'm like why he's like because it's not gonna change anything i'm like what do you mean he's like yeah it's not gonna change anything because she's still gonna go back with him so why would you go because she need me now and he's like but she's gonna be back with him so why would you go i'm like because right now she need me and then i don't know I, I couldn't understand what he was trying to tell me like what the hell your friend is in need and you you like thinking about the future like whatever i'm like even though my friend would first of all even though the situation was real and my friend like was really hurt by her boyfriend and she will go back to him like the next day or in two weeks or whatever i'm still gonna go see my friend because she need me now and anyways so the guy was like he was like getting mad at me for going to see my friend and help her because even though I'm gonna go help her as per what he was saying even though I was gonna go help her she was still gonna go back to her boyfriend so why would I go help her if she gonna go back to her boyfriend 
okay so it's just like wow i'm still gonna go because she need me now and then he's like but why do you need to go now if you know she's gonna go back he keeps saying that i was just like because she need me now i don't know but like what do you want me to say and whatever and then he started to get me like hot like i was like i was saying lord please give me the strength to not like punch this guy or slap him i got so heat up like when the waiter came back and then he was like oh everything okay i'm like yes everything is good um can i get like the the bill please and by the way i'm gonna buy i'm gonna pay for my two drinks and my food and he's gonna pay for whatever he took he left and then he's like oh it's like that i'm like yeah i'm like this day is done i'm like i don't wanna hear nothing from you anymore i don't wanna know like nothing from you i'm like this is the one the first and the last one thank you and then he's like seriously why i thought we were having the, a good time is this serious we were having a good time who who was <laughs> who was having a good time I need to know anyways so the, the guy bring our check I paid for my thing and I finished paying <laughs> when the guy came I was the first one to grab the machine and put my card in I paid and then I, I get up and then I start leaving and then the guy was paying and then he was like oh you're not gonna wait for me you don't want me to bring you home I'm like no I'm fine I'm like <laughs> actually I don't need your help right now because me I'm gonna go see my friend regardless of what you're saying I'm gonna go see my friend he's like oh really you really gonna go see her I'm like don't talk to me anymore like this converse conversation is like done we we are done this date is done so go your way Yo, I was getting pissed off of a situation that is not even happening because of how he approached the situation anyways so, so then i'm walking but i'm not walking so i walk the opposite way and then while i'm walking and whatever he's following me so i call my girls i'm like yo can you guys stay on the phone with me because i'm not sure but i think he's following me so i don't wanna you know like i just wanna show him that you get like the situation is real and whatever so i'm just gonna be like yeah i'm gonna be on my way blah blah, blah. so i'm saying that on the phone and the guy is following me i turn he keep following me and i was just like yo guys i think like he's gonna follow me home i'm just gonna walk straight not gonna go home so he doesn't like know where i live one street i was turning and then when i get to the other street end of the street i was turning and i'm like oh, i was doing like some weird shit okay guys and it was imagine it was like one o'clock 12 to one o'clock you know alone in the street it's dark by myself i'm a girl all the odds were not in my favor so just in case walk past your house and then after that do like a, a little turn and then go back to your house so i was like okay fine so that's what i did and then i got home and me and my friend we talk about the date the whole night because i was just like yo i can't believe this this just happened to me like what the hell just happened yeah guys that was it so that was my story about my worst worst date um please comment down below uh your worst date what was it uh how did it happen how did you get away or did you like finish the date and whatsoever and what would you do in my situation so please comment down below let me know uh if you know my social you can also message me message me on there and but yeah that was my story guys and after that day i did it all my dating app i had bumble i had hinge and i had another one was it pof plenty of fish one of them i 
had like three or four of them and then I delete all of them I was like I'm done I'm done with like dating apps I'm not gonna do them anymore and yeah so don't forget to like subscribe share the video comment down below uh, your favorite part um, like I said your favorite part your uh, worst date and what would you do in my situation um, I read all the comments I also comment back so yeah and please let's see if we can get this video to 15 likes let's see if the video can get to 300 views and I'll see you in the next one bye bye Oh, oh, I need to do a thumbnail. I need to do a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. Thank you.